why is it important plastic free gesture? It's really, we've got a huge issue with plastic at the moment and if we don't sort it, there's going to be more plastic than fish in the sea. So we really need to think about all of the items that we throw away. So of all the plastic that we produce, about 40% of it is thrown away after its first use. And we can't afford to keep throwing that amount of plastic away all the time. What do you do for Plastic I'm Chester and District Friends of the Earth group coordinator. So one of our local campaigns at the moment is Plastic Free Chester. We started really with Straw Free Chester. So the aim was to talk to businesses about thinking differently about straws, so taking them off, uh, display, then going to pay for straws as our preference. And then we did that really well. We'd done that within a few months. So we've moved on to Plastic Free Chester. So we've now got to find 30 businesses that can give up three different types of plastic, either for alternatives or just give them up altogether. Why is it so important? Is that not what you just asked me already? <laughs> what are your hopes for the future? My hopes for the future, I mean really, we, I wanted to be at Chester to be the first plastic free city and we've been beaten out by a tiny place down in Cornwall. But I think we can still be the first major city to get a plastic free status. And I think that would really put us on the map to say that Chester is a place that cares about the environment and, and cares about its plastic pollution. So we're not a coastal place. So we've no beaches like many other places down in Cornwall. Um, but we still know that lots of our um, parks and our areas have a real issue with plastic. Um, and we do, from the litter picks we've been doing, it's really obvious that there's an, you know, a real litter issue around the plastic as well. How do you think you've done so far? What? How do you think you've done so far? I think sort of from starting it in last November for Straw Free Chester to hit the number of businesses we wanted to do by March of this year and then to be working towards Plastic Free Chester and we were around about halfway so far. Most of us, we're all volunteers, most of us work full time so it's a real big ask to be able to commit enough hours of the day to sort this. But I'd love us to be able to say that we're plastic free Chester by the end of the summer before the children go back to school in September. So that's my ultimate aim now, is to get those other 15 businesses on board to say they're gonna give up enough single-use plastic to really reach our goal.